if you're new to the gym, or if you need a refresher, this is for you. January, the time of year where most people tend to get started on their fitness journeys. The time of year where the gym is filled with people who are not extremely confident in the gym, are not exactly sure what they should be doing, but also are in need of some guidance, some help, and some direction. Us people who have been going to the gym for a very long time kind of understand these unwritten rules of sharing equipment, racking your stuff, putting it away. But there's also a lot of newer people that have no idea. And I think it's our responsibility to share that with you. So today's topic is gonna be all about gym etiquette. If you're new to the gym or if you need a refresher, this is for you. I wanna make sure that when you go to the gym, you know the ins and the outs, the do's and the don'ts, and the proper etiquette to have a friendly, safe, and fun environment inside the gym, which is only gonna help you get closer to your goal and make it that much more enjoyable along the way. So I hope you enjoy, let's dive right in. And for those of you who don't know, my name is Coach Tyler. I've been an online coach and personal trainer for the past six years. I've helped 455 clients achieve success on their health and fitness journeys. And along my journey of helping others, one common topic that comes up is gym etiquette. Now, after being inside the gym for well over 10 years now, I've learned a few things tend to come up on a regular basis. It's something I still see even inside of a private gym, but also more so going out into the big box gyms. I tend to see these things all the time, sometimes being done right and sometimes being done wrong. So that's exactly what I'm gonna dive into today. And just a heads up, there's probably gonna be a lot of these that are kind of common sense. But let me tell you, common sense doesn't come too common. Gym etiquette rule number one wipe down equipment after using it. This one kind of goes without saying. I saw this become a lot more popular, especially after COVID, when people are a little more cautious and a little more conscious of their cleanliness and bacteria and uh, dirtiness inside the gym environment, especially. However, I feel like one of the most irritating and frustrating things is that when you go to go use a bench or piece of equipment right after someone uses it and there's sweat all over the bench or all over the seat, it's really frustrating. And so I highly encourage that you bring some sort of towel that you can wipe down the equipment after using it when you're at the gym. And I will say one thing that I have noticed is that since COVID, most gyms tend to have some sort of spray bottles or disinfectant wipes kind of laying around almost everywhere. So please do yourself and do your gym a favor. After you're done using a piece of equipment, just wipe it down. It's very kind, very courteous. And honestly, I'm sure you don't wanna sit on a dirty piece of equipment, so don't do it to other people. Gym etiquette number two is gonna be don't interrupt people mid-set. Say you wanna use a piece of equipment someone is using, say you're waiting for someone to finish up using a piece of equipment, or you wanna ask someone a question or you see your friend, when they're in the middle of a set, do not interrupt them. And especially if someone's lifting heavy, do not interrupt them. It is one, gonna put them at a higher risk of injury. Last thing you wanna do is hurt someone else because you distracted them during a set. But also, it's extremely frustrating when you're trying to put all your focus and attention into working a specific muscle group or working on a specific thing. Wait till their set is over before you ask them, hey, how many sets do you have left? Hey, how much longer do you have on this machine? It is not rude to ask that, but don't interrupt someone mid-set because it most likely will piss them off. Gym etiquette number three, this one has a little bit of a gray area, but one thing I like to tell people is don't wear tons of perfume or cologne inside the gym. Sometimes having too much cologne or perfume can be really sensitive to a lot of people, causing others to sneeze or feel uncomfortable, congested around you. However, if you tend to be someone that does smell quite a bit inside the gym, um, has a specific odor coming off their body that is not very pleasant, uh, definitely wear deodorant. But what you don't want to overdo is cologne or perfume because it may just bother people around you. So be mindful of that. 
and just make sure you don't smell like absolute dog shit. Gym etiquette number four is gonna be don't hoard multiple pieces of equipment at once. If you are doing some sort of circuit style training, which you probably shouldn't be doing anyways because it's not gonna yield you the best results, but that's a topic for another day. What's most important is you don't need to have the 25 pound dumbbells, the leg extensions, a barbell, and a squat rack all at the same time. That's kind of ridiculous. Pick one piece of equipment to use at a time, do your sets, and then move on to the next thing. You don't need to have six, seven, eight, nine pieces of equipment all at once to cycle through. It's kind of rude and inconsiderate for your fellow gym goers. Gym etiquette number five is gonna be letting people hop in with you between sets. Whether you're at a squat rack, on a leg machine, using a pair of dumbbells, don't be afraid to share. Honestly, what's crazy is I've actually met some of my good friends inside the gym, some of my gym friends, by sharing equipment. Being able to tell someone, hey, how many sets do you have left? It's actually really nice when people say, hey, you know what, I have five more sets, but you're more than welcome to hop in while I'm resting. Most often, people that know what they're doing are going to rest anywhere from 60 seconds, sometimes up to three minutes between sets. And so when they take that rest period, don't be afraid to let someone else hop in between your working sets. And same goes for the other person. Don't be afraid to go ask someone, hey, would you mind if I hop in between your rest periods? That is and should be totally okay. Now, some people are a little weird about this. They don't like it. Respect what they say if they say no, but understand this is a piece of advice I would give to most people is to allow others to work in with you between your sets. And now I save the best for last, the most important aspect of working out in the gym. And if you mess this one up, you should probably never go to a gym again. I could tell you every gym owner, every person I know inside the gym finds this to be the most annoying and frustrating thing in the whole world. When people don't, re-rack their damn weights. I can tell you nothing, nothing is more frustrating than going to the rack, looking around the whole gym, trying to find a pair of 30 pound dumbbells only to find them on the complete other side of the gym because some knucklehead left them over there after doing some set of an exercise they probably had no idea they were doing. So don't be that guy. Don't be that girl, put your damn weights where they belong. Whether it's on a barbell, whether it's on a machine, whether it's a pair of dumbbells, please just put things back where you found them. The gym community will thank you for this. And one of the last things I wanna say is just no, we're human. We make mistakes, we cannot be perfect, we will not be perfect. But if you can remember these six things when you're inside the gym, number one, it will make your experience better inside the gym, but also it will make the gym a friendlier, more enjoyable environment for others as well. And if we can all follow these rules, the gym is gonna be a better place, a more welcoming place for everyone. So if you are new to the gym or if you are experienced, I hope you found some value listening to this today. And if there's anything I missed, please feel free to comment or shoot me a message and tell me what I missed. I would love to add it to a future video, but thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to listen and or watch this. And I'm looking forward to bringing you more. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.